In this video, my GoPro audio cuts out, so I'll be doing a voiceover to explain what I'm doing in this. So let me explain why this works. Yeah, I could just throw this small swim bait and probably catch on them too, but I'm fishing a low tide right now and there's tons of structure. The plastic's probably gonna get either wedged between some of the low tide rocks and this riprap, or if I'm using the exposed jig head, probably get snagged and break off. So I'm just slowly working this with a steady reel. Every once in a while, I'll give an occasional jerk or pop, but it's got that nice shimmer, and as you can see, here's a good little hookup with the smallest body. So this little guy just swiped at it, probably just hit the tail, but you can see I barely hooked him with that one trouble on the bottom lip. By using the jerk bait, I'm able to work this lure between the structure. The bill will deflect off the structure, causing it not to snag as often. Unfortunately, this is the only halibut of the day. It's a small one, but it just shows the versatility of the bait. This jerkbait mimics the big fish perfectly. It's got a small, slender profile that looks like the big fish in the water. So in this clip, you can see I'm slowly working this with a steady retrieve, and then I'm gonna bump into a couple rocks. You can see me twitching my rod tip upwards, causing it to deflect off this rock. As soon as I do, I get bit. This is actually a pretty chunky spotty. And once again, it bit that last trouble, that second trouble hook. So I've noticed that a couple of these spotties have a more predominant yellow underbelly. If anyone knows why, let me know in the comments below. In this clip, you're gonna see the slightest bite in my rod tip right before I set the hook. This body actually swiped at the jerk bait, but I still managed to tag it right in the side. I actually thought this was a decent sized halibut at first by the way it was fighting, but it was actually just a spotty that got tagged in the side. But the cool thing about using trouble hooks 
is that sometimes when fish swipe at them like this, you get those foul hooks and you still manage to hook up in the end. We'll see beef freeze lures are actually pretty tough to find. They're almost exclusive to the Lucky Craft Halibut Surf Derby kits. I'll link below where you can find some of these kits online. Um, they come with the measuring tape for halibut and also a couple other Lucky Craft lures. So what I'm doing here is casting past the structure. Once I start to feel my bill deflecting off the structure is when I get hit. So this one right here actually took the front trouble instead of the second one. So these bee freeze actually work really well for spotties and hallies in the shallow water conditions. If you have a couple laying around, give them a try. They might be better than you expected. <laughs> 